Today is an interesting point in the history of the DJI FPV system, and that is the likely end of the DJI FPV goggles version 2. Now, just to be clear, DJI have not released any statements. They have not said that they are no longer going to be making these. But for those of us who have been around this stuff a long time, it is very clear that the writing is on the wall. Today, you can no longer order the version 2 goggles from the DJI website as a standalone. They are no longer available to order with the DJI Avata drone. And the only product that you can actually get the V2 goggles with from DJI now is the DJI FPV drone. And that drone was only compatible with those goggles. And that's actually on sale at the moment on the DJI website, which hints it is going to come to an end. And it's my opinion, we're probably going to see a new version of this this in the near future. Now, today, stock is still available in retailers. However, I think the release of the new DJI goggles Integra is pretty much the nail in the coffin of what I think is probably the most successful digital FPV goggle that has been released in the market today. Now, with these coming to an end, it raises some interesting questions for people. What is the best choice if you've been sitting on the fence? Should you go out and order a set of these now? And when these are gone, what are the options for using goggles with my old FPV systems? And I'm going to try and answer some of those questions today. Now, just before we get into it, I just want to mention that even though you may be starting to struggle to get these new, there is going to be a decent used market for these goggles out there. I actually don't see the used price on the V2s dropping that much, even with the release of the new goggles, because these are today one of the best options that you can have if you're using multiple systems. Now, this is what I want to touch on next, is the compatibility aspect of where we're going to end up with regards to not having the V2s available. As I've said, the V2s were the most compatible goggle on the market. They worked with the original ear unit and the Cadex Vista in the original DIY mode. They worked with the DJI FPV drone, they worked with the Avata, and they worked with O3. That was four separate systems that these goggles would work with, and none of the other goggles have that level of compatibility. Though, whilst there was a lot of compatibility, things were not perfect. For instance, the V2s would lose binding when changing modes, and they didn't have that full MSP OSD officially unless you used the hacks. Now, there is obviously options still available out there today if you're someone on the old system. And don't worry, even if you're a person who is using a set of V1s on the ear units, you can still get a set of goggles which are compatible, and that will be the new goggles too, or the new goggles Integras. But there is, though, some lines in the sand with regards to firmware you need to be aware of. The only real product today that would get stranded as a result of there not being new goggles version 2 is the DJI FPV drone, because the FPV drone is not compatible with the goggles 2, not compatible with the goggles Integra, and up until now, as I've said, it is only the V2 goggle that supports that. Now, with regards to compatibility on the original DJI FPV system, what I mean by the original FPV system is the ear units, which can consist of the Cadex Vista, the Runcam Link, and the original DJI Ear Unit. These are actually compatible with all four sets of goggles. So the DJI FPV Goggles V1, the FPV Goggles V2, the DJI Goggles 2, and the new DJI Goggles Integra. However, there is a hard line in the sand with regards to that compatibility and firmware. For instance, the ear units are compatible with the V1 and V2 goggles on all of the versions of firmware apart from 01.01.0000. .01 .0000. That firmware is the version that actually makes those ear units compatible with the Goggles 2 and the new Goggles Integra. But if you upgrade to that, they will no longer work with the V1 or V2 goggles. The easiest way to think about this is DJI released a special firmware update for the original ear units that made them compatible with the Goggles 2 and now the Integra, but it doesn't then have backwards compatibility with the original system. This firmware is not forced and you can upgrade 
upgrade and downgrade, but what it means is there is no compatibility between these two sets of goggles. For instance, what you cannot do is use the ear units on the new firmware on the goggles 2 and spectate on the V2s. What you can't also do is spectate with the V2s with the ear units on the firmware for the V2s. You would either have to keep them on the original firmware and use the V2s or V1s, you can cross between them no problem at all, or you'd have to put them on the new firmware and use a set of goggles 2 or integras and spectate with another set. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to upgrading to this new firmware. For instance, when using the ear units on the new firmware, you now get the DJI Canvas mode. However, you lose the ability to record on the original DJI ear unit. If you downgrade and use them on the V2s, you have the ability to record on that original ear unit, but you don't have Canvas mode. The reality is DJI introduced this special mode on the Goggles 2 originally and now on the Integras that allowed you to use the ear units, but that basically broke backwards compatibility. The good thing is though, it means that if you're currently a V1 or V2 Goggles user, you can actually upgrade to the Goggles 2 or the Integras and still use all your original ear units. The only downside to that is you would lose backwards compatibility, but what you're not being done is forced to upgrade to O3. Now, on those original ear units, I just want to add, at this moment in time, camera supply is also getting a little bit limited as well. For instance, Cadex are no longer making cameras for the DJI FPV system. The very best overall camera that we had, which was the Nebula Pro, is basically no longer available. The original DJI camera is no longer available, and all you can really get today is cameras from Runcam, such as the Wasp, or the Phoenix, but none of these cameras have all of the same features, spec and capabilities as the original cameras from DJI and Cadex, and we really are starting to see the original system become limited simply because of the availability of cameras, but also as a result of these goggles in all likelihood coming to an end. Now with regards to the O3 system, things are nice and simple. The V2s, the Goggles 2 and the Integras are all fully compatible. You can use all three, you can choose whichever one you want, and you can even spectate between the three versions as well. There really is no limitations with regards to the O3 system on what goggle you use. The only real difference is, is the features and capabilities. For instance, the V2 goggles do not have the additional media processor that the goggles 2 and the Integras have, and as a result of that, they don't have all of the same features. But overall, the V2 still make a very compelling option even for O3 users. With regards to the DJI Avata, things are quite interesting because whilst DJI have stopped selling it with the V2s, there will still be stock out there in retailers. And that means users actually have a choice of three packages. The Avata with the V2s, the Avata with the new Integras, and the Avata with the Goggles 2. The thing to remember is the Avata is required to comply with remote ID guidelines in the USA and the advantage to getting it with the new Integras is you would not have to connect your smartphone to be able to use it. The only real downside to that is the new Integras and the Goggles 2 don't have the ability to be able to use the FPV drone, so really the decision should come down to what sort of compatibility you need. It's worth remembering both the Goggles 2 and the Integras work with O3, the Avata, and the original ear units on the new firmware. The only thing you will be giving up by choosing either the Goggles 2 or the Integras is the ability to use the DJI FPV drone. And if you choose the Integras, you're going to have a bit of a better experience not having to connect your smartphone if you're in the USA. So this all leads us to the question, which FPV goggles should you choose? And that's actually quite a hard choice. The V2s though remain the best overall option and bang for buck available on the market today. And as I've said, they really have set the landscape for digital FPV as we know it today. And they are a fantastic option if you choose them. What I would say is this, whatever choice you make of the goggles, you need to weigh up 
all of the pros and cons, but what there isn't is any major downsides outside that compatibility with the DJI FPV drone. The real nice thing, and it's lovely to be able to say this with DJI, they have given us very good compatibility. We have three sets of goggles that will work with O3, three sets of goggles that will work with the original ear units that you can buy today still just, and options to be able to upgrade your old ear units to work with the newer and the older stuff. So, as for which one to choose, that is down to you. But what I would say is, if you're someone who is wanting to get a brand new set of E2s, now is the time to do it. If you're someone who wants to make sure you can get the best cameras for the original FPV system, I would be looking to buy what is available today, because once Caddick stock is gone, it is over. And as I've said, Really, whilst we don't have facts, you're going to see these fade into history. And actually, that's going to be a sad day. And I think we can probably all agree that what DJI did here really did change the FPV industry. We would not have what we have from Avatar, would not have pushed other people to do what they've done if DJI had not delivered the product that they did. And whilst the original FPV system wasn't perfect, it really did blow everything else out the water at the time. And it says something that it is still one of the best options today as long as you know where you're heading and as long as you buy what you need to keep you going for the future. The great thing is, even if the ear units end, you still have O3, which again has pushed things to the next level. And hopefully, you never know, DJI might bring us some new stuff on that as well. That's it from me on this one. I just want to say finally, if you have found this video interesting, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. We would not be able to keep buying these products like the DJI FPV system to be able to talk about on the channel without the support of the patrons. And I want to say a huge thank you from me. And if you'd like to support us, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me. If you want to get a set of V2s, now's the time to do it. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.